Today marks the final day in office for the Prime Minister, and I pay tribute to her sense of public duty. Public service should always be recognised. Being an MP, a minister, or indeed a Prime Minister is an honour that brings with it huge responsibility and huge pressures. Mr Speaker, the burdens of office are considerable. The loneliness of leadership can be stark. Whilst there are times, I wish you and Philip all the best for the future. As somebody who has not invariably seen eye to eye with the Prime Minister, may I, may I thank her for her remarkable public service and for, showing, and for showing that highest of virtues, a sense of duty, and on top of that, being willing to deal with people who must on occasions have been annoying to her with enormous courtesy. Mr Speaker, on behalf of many people, may I thank the Prime Minister. We have disagreed on many things over the years, but the Prime Minister knows that I have long respected her resilience, her commitment to public duty and her seriousness. You are in no doubt, Mr Speaker, that I think the Prime Minister is a thoroughly good egg and it's been an absolute privilege to serve on the back benches with her. <laughs> Mr. Mr Speaker, this Prime Minister's commitment to mental health has been simply fantastic. It was fantastic when she was the Home Secretary and fantastic as Prime Minister. Even her harshest critics <laughs> must recognise her integrity, her commitment to public service, her dedication to this country. And those are qualities that none of us should ever take for granted. That duty to serve my constituents will remain my greatest motivation. Yeah. Yeah.